Hey guys, welcome back to another Branded Basics. So today I'm kind of updating my combo profile, well, not really combos, but kind of guide, uh, because I've never really incorporated guiding Quem into any of my kind of instructional videos or anything like that. So today I want to basically make a video called, you know, help, how do I use Quem? Basically, we're gonna go through Quem, how you summon her out, how your combos, your original combos change because now Quem is in your deck, and how Quem can help you play through some interruptions. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started first with um, guiding Quem herself. We're gonna go ahead and read her together and kind of figure out what we're gonna be doing when she comes out. And really, it's kind of a hard question to answer without any context because Quem can send a monster from your deck to your graveyard that includes Fallen of Albaz in its name. Well, there's a lot, and it kind of really depends what you have in your hand and when you're summoning Quem out. Now, there's really two times you're going to be summoning Quem. One is during your main phase as your normal summon or maybe with branded opening or like pre-combo. There's pre-combo Quem, and then there's post-combo Quem. And in post-combo Quem, Quem is going to come out in your end phase because at some point you've sent Titanoclad to your graveyard, and in the end phase, you're going to resolve Titanoclad by special summoning a Fallen of Albaz or Dogmatica card to your field. And Quem is treated as a Dogmatica card, as she says in our text. So a lot of times our new combos are going to try to send Titanoclad in order to establish Gutting Quem on our end board. And in that case, then we kind of got to take a look at what's in our graveyard and what do we need in there to kind of help our combos going forward, okay? So let's go ahead and look at what the relevant targets are for Quem. So um, first of all, we have, I'm just going in order of whatever's in my hand here, Albion the Shrouded Dragon, uh, Fallen of Albaz himself, Blazing Cartesia, the Virtuous, Tri-Brigade, Mercurier. She can also send Retribution um, as relevant. Can send Branded Fusion itself. We have four monsters here and three spells and traps. Now, uh, basically, we have a few routes to go when we summon Quem. Uh, and our most common kind of basic route is going to be probably sending a Blazing Cartesia. Like, if we already have all of our stuff, if we already have a Branded Fusion in our hand, well then sending Fusion or Retribution to get one back is really not going to do much for us. So, you know... That, we'll get to that in a little bit of how Quem can help play around hand traps, but uh, in general, if we have our whole setup already going, we're gonna. If we don't already have access to Cartesia, if we haven't drawn it or we don't have fusion duplication to summon the Cartesia out, we're gonna go ahead and send one with Quem. And that's because if we look at Quem's other effect, when a monster leaves the extra deck, we can special summon essentially whatever we've dumped, we can special summon it back out. Okay, so if we dump a Cartesia first and then we go ahead and branded fusion, start doing our branded stuff, uh, in the middle of that, we can summon a Cartesia back to our field. Uh, which is pretty clutch because we can use it to play around stuff like Imperm or play around or like include Grand Guignol into our combo. We can kind of fuse off some of our pieces so we're not using so much of our field when we're using fusion material, stuff like that. Okay, so we'll go through a couple examples of when that might come up. Uh, probably that exact example we'll go through. Um, but yeah, that's really what we're going to go for with Cartesia. Now, another situation you might want, and this, if you're familiar with the branded Synchro version, is to send a copy of Tri-Brigade Mercurier. Okay, now why would we do that? Well, we would essentially only do that if we have a Bistial in our hand to banish that Mercurier. Now, if you remember the old Rinbrum lines where you go branded Fusion, send Mercurier and Albaz, you know, if you remember, when would we do that? Well, we would do that when a follow-up is to banish the Mercurier from our graveyard, okay? So that's kind of the same thing here where Quem can send Mercurier and then we can like Sauronir banish the Mercurier. Mercurier will be able to search us something else, uh, such as the, um, you know, Albion or a Cartesia or a Fallen of Albaz. You know, whatever Mercurier can search, we can do it then. And that's really the only reason you would want to send Mercurier in the first place is if you can banish it some way, uh, somehow, anyways. Um, another, uh, you know, we'll get to sending Albion really later. There's there's not a whole lot of reason to send the Albion. But then the last relevant 
uh, target to send is Fallen of Albaz. Now, Fallen of Albaz is a pretty common send when we are summoning Quem in our end phase, and that's because, uh, you know, we might want a Albaz in our graveyard to make our branded in red live. Uh, you know, if we don't have any Despias left in our grave, or if we don't have any Albazes left in our grave, well, our branded in red is not going to be very valuable. So, in some cases, we're going to want to summon out our Guiding Quem, Dumpy Fallen of Albaz, and that way, branded in red has some kind of target to add back and fuse. Okay, and for the same reason, you can dump the Albion if you wanted to, because this one is treated as Fallen of Albaz in the graveyard. Okay, now let's talk about how Quem helps play through hand traps. So. Uh, the most notable hand trap we're playing through uh, with Quem is going to be Imperm or Valor on our, or mostly Imperm on Alibur in the draw phase. Uh, you know, if we go branded opening, let's say in our draw phase, uh, we go branded opening, uh, summon out Alibur, Alibur effect, Alibur effect, search brand to, you know, try to search branded fusion, we get Impermed, which is a fairly common action if someone has imperm they're going to imperm there because if you already have fusion you're going to search lost and then their imperm is dead anyway so everyone is going to imperm this okay that sucks now we have quem okay now in our main phase we can normal summon quem and if you guys know how to search branded fusion without alibur well that essentially consists of sending both retribution and branded fusion to our graveyard uh, some way somehow and then retribution can banish itself to add back the branded fusion now um, Quem is a new way To send one of these two cards the other way the other ways are Sarnir going to the graveyard uh, We have shrouded in our hand or graveyard both of these will be able to send one of these guys um, we have um, different various ways to send these guys in the first place such as uh, deployment into Cartesia Cartesia fused with something into Grand Guignol and Grand Guignol can send Sarnir or Albion so really there's a lot of ways to get these cards into our graveyard uh, and now Quem is just another way okay so that's pretty nice that we have just a little bit more flexibility in being able to Dig for the branded fusion if we need it, or just sending retribution to maybe reuse a branded in red if we had to do that. Stuff like that. Like, it, it's kind of just very versatile in terms of playing through things, uh, you know, setting up further plays, sending Albaz to be able to have branded in red live, and so forth. Okay, so now that we've talked about what did she use to send, we're going to talk about what is she used for in the combos and how are we summoning her. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about our basic combo now. Our new basic combo with Quem. And basically, uh, this is going to require branded fusion plus fusion deployment here. Because our really our one card branded fusion combo isn't really changed at all. Uh, we can only do so much with one branded fusion in the, even in this deck. Uh, and that's usually going to end on stuff like um, Mirror Jade plus Lost plus uh, Albion Engrave. And really that's the extent of our Branded Fusion solo play. But if we chuck a Fusion Deployment into the mix or even just a Cartesia by herself, uh, then we're going to be able to add Quem to our end board, which is going to be a very powerful tool. And we'll go ahead and talk about why shortly. Okay, so... We're always going to fire off our fusion deployment first and summon out our Cartesia just to get that out of the way using Cartesia to dodge imperms on our fusion monsters and so forth. Now we're going to go ahead and activate branded fusion to send a copy of Albaz and we're going to go for the traditional uh, Bestial Lubellion line here so we can set up a branded lost as well. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, use those two. Let me try to get everything in view here. Let me zoom out actually. We're going to go ahead and send those and out of our extra deck 
summon a copy of Albion the Branded because we've used Albaz plus a light monster. Now Albion can go ahead and activate. Uh, you know, I might have messed up a little bit. We gonna assume we have a dark monster maybe we are gonna assume we summoned the aluber or maybe we have one in hand whatever just bear with me you know the drill we summon albion when we have another dark monster available because we're gonna want to go into the lubelion uh when we banish these for fusion summon and go into lubelion here lubelion is gonna discard a copy of whatever okay and now we can fuse a copy of Mirror Jade by shuffling back the Lubelion and our Albaz from our Banished Pile. Fantastic. Okay, so this is basically where we were back before Cyberstorm access. Okay, but now we have a little bit of fun to do. Okay, so now we're going to send our Albion to the graveyard to summon back the Bistio Lubelion. Great. Bistio Lubelion can activate our copy of Branded Lost. Let me find that. Wonderful. Okay, now we can kind of do some other stuff. Now we're going to go Cartesia plus Lubelion. Cartesia effect to fuse with the Lubelion, and we're going to summon a copy of Grand Guignol. Grand Guignol now has an effect where before, what did we send? We might have sent Ad Libitum, we might have sent, um, you know, Rinbrom, I, I don't know what we would have sent, but now the point is we're going to send a copy of Titanoclad. And I already touched on why we're doing that in the first place, and that's because in the end phase that Titanoclad is going to be able to summon a copy of Quim. And now don't forget our branded loss search, we can just search a Mercurier as an additional interruption. Why not? Or if we already have Mercurier, search an Albion for a draw and so forth. But the point is we have Mercurier ready to go. And now we're going to, in the end phase, summon out our Guiding Quem. Now let's take a look at our graveyard. We have Titanoclad, we have Albion still to resolve, and that's about it. Uh, we have Cartesia to add back if we want to. Now what are we going to do here? Um, well, we're probably going to dump with Quem either a second copy of Cartesia or a Fallen of Albaz. And the correct choice in this case is going to be Fallen of Albaz. Why? Because with our Albion effect, we're going to want to set Branded in Red. And right now, Branded in Red doesn't have any targets in our grave unless this discard over here, this old discard, the random one that I used for the Lubelion fusion, uh, if that was like a Despia or an Albaz or an Albion the Shrouded, okay, then maybe we don't need to dump the Al Albaz, okay? But in this case, we're going to assume it was like Imperm or Nib or something, and we're going to go ahead and set Branded in red, which is now live because Albaz is in our graveyard. Uh, and then we also have Guiding Quem, I mean uh, Blazing Cartesia to add back if we want. Now, before it used to be automatic, add back to Cartesia, hell yeah. But now maybe not, because whenever we go ahead and use our Mirror Jade effect on our opponent's turn, and we can use our Mirror Jade effect to send whatever we want. We might send the Rinbrum because we have an Albaz in there. Uh, that's another reason to send Albaz is because Mirror Jade can now send Rinbrum and we'll have another interruption to summon back the Albaz with Rinbrum. Or we'll just send another Albion for another search later on, or whatever we want. But basically, when Mirror Jade activates effect, on resolution, Quem. A Quem can activate because a monster has left the extra deck. It doesn't have to be summoned from the extra deck, you just have to leave it. So even on Mirror Jade paying cost for its effect, Quem activates, can summon back a monster that mentions Albaz. Now our options are Albaz itself, which is another interruption of course, because Albaz can just now activate on summon to discard one to fuse, maybe. Or we can summon a Cartesia, and now Cartesia has effects if we want to go ahead and fuse uh, for another interruption. Now, what are our options? Well, we can go Cartesia effect, um, maybe, you know, fuse away a Burned Mirror Jade plus Grand Guignol into a copy of Dragostapelia, which is gonna be another nice interruption. Um, we have Dragostapelia or Cartesia can go ahead and, well, yeah, I think that's really about it in terms of the interruptions we're going to want to summon out uh, because um, we don't really have access to uh, Albion the Sanctifier unless we have another way to summon Albaz. Like if we went uh, Mirror Jade, dump Rinbrum for a fact, 
Uh, and then Rinbrum summoned back the Elbaz. Now with Elbaz on board and Granguigno, well now we have a whole bunch of options. We can go into Sanctifier, Drago Stapelia. Um, we could go into uh, another Grand Guignol if there is some reason to do so. Um, but yeah, we have we have a lot of options for interruptions to summon with that Cartesia. Not to mention the branded in red that we've had the whole time. Okay, so that's all pretty fun. Whole bunch of new pieces to the end board that Quem adds, and there's a whole bunch of other combos where you know, oh, I open Quem plus Lubellion. Now I can kind of dump Mercurier, banish Mercurier, search X summon Y and like all that kind of stuff. That's all kind of niche. Like, yeah, if I open two one ofs, I might have a unique combo, that's fine. But really, this is the bread and butter combo that you need to know. Uh, in, in the case that we don't open Quem, we can summon it in the end phase. Now let's go through the one more combo where we actually do open Quem and we summon it before the whole combo starts, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and start off with um, let's say we open like uh, Quem plus. I think we can just do Quem plus Branded Fusion. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be fine, uh, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and normal summon the Quem first. And the reason we want to summon the Quem first is because we want her effect to revive live when we activate the Branded Fusion. So we're gonna go ahead and Quem dump the Cartesia. And then we're gonna go ahead and fire off the branded fusion and we're gonna continue with um, our typical plays. And in this case, we can probably, uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? We're gonna try something a little bit different this time. We're gonna not send the Cartesia. Maybe that's the wrong, the wrong choice. Because what I'm thinking is that when we activate Branded Fusion, we can dump Albaz and Cartesia instead of Albaz and Lubellion. And that's because we don't need the Lubellion to set up Lost. We can just Cartesia fuse away the Albion to get that in the grave. But uh, that seems a little bit complicated for this video. So uh, let's go ahead and dump the Cartesia as planned. Dump the Albaz and Lubellion as planned. Fantastic. And now we can summon out a copy of Albion. Um, now Albion can activate and Quem can also activate since Albion left the graveyard. We're going to summon back that Cartesia. Uh, and then Albion is going to banish our copy of Albaz plus whatever random dark monster we might have in our hand. Or hopefully maybe we summoned Al Aluber off of opening. Again, this is kind of a little bit fantasy Yu-Gi-Oh here, but bear with me. Uh, to summon our copy of Lubellion, and really this is going to end on a similar end board to what we did last time, except now with Grand Guignol, we don't have to send Titanoclad anymore because we already have Quem out, okay? So Lubellion is going to go ahead and discard whatever random card we want to fuse, and then we can chain Cartesia, actually, uh, to fuse away Cartesia, Plus the Lubellion, we always want to do that because, you know, if we're going to shuffle back the Lubellion anyway, we might as well make double use of it as fusion material. So we have uh, Grand Guignol now coming out, Lubellion resolves, shuffling back that Elbaz and the Lubellion itself to summon a copy of Mirror Jade. Okay, fantastic. Now we can go ahead and do our usual send off the... Albion for the Lubellion. Lubellion can set up a Lost. Uh, and don't forget the Grand... I forgot the Grand Guignol send. But now we have a better option to send. And that's probably going to be Ad Libitum. And that's because we want the Ad Lib live for our Branded in Red, in red play in the end phase. Um, you know, not play in the end phase, but the Branded in Red set in the end phase. We want the Ad Libitum there because when we go into Guardian Chimera using Mirror Jade as material, we're going to be able to summon back that Mirror Jade with the Adlib. So um, that's going to be a whole bunch of interruptions um, set up by this end board. The nice thing about having Quem is we don't have to send a Branded and Red target. We can I'll, we can send the Branded Red target with the Grand Guignol, and we can just send the Cartesia to set up all the plays that we need. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this kind of attempt at 
a guide on how to incorporate guiding quem into your combos like there's going to be a whole lot of complicated ones that you see just know the basic ones know it if you open quem in your hand know it if you don't open quem in your hand and you should be good to go in just improving your end board a bit and kind of uh being able to kind of amplify what you can play through and that kind of thing now don't forget quem can summon anything that mention mentions albaz and that includes fusion monsters that mention albaz as material so don't forget that if your mirror jade gets outed you can quem summon back the mirror jade if you have another way for something to leave the extra deck or if something leaves your opponent's extra deck don't forget that you can summon back your mirror jade you can summon back your rin brums uh you can summon back your titanic lad and all that kind of thing even uh sanctifier we can set up as well okay so just things to keep in mind now that we've incorporated Quem into the deck, please let me know if you have any questions or comments or whatever in the comments section below. If you're enjoying the branded basics content, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, trying to grow the channel, trying to teach people how to play these little bit more complicated decks because branded is by no means easy to play or easy to master. All right, so with that, we'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you later.